Hello, YouTube. It's Harley here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Ebony. Uh, just a quick update of some of the things I've been working on. Uh, I've built the academy up to level 5. It didn't take too long. By the way, this is day 2 of my uh, beginner's protection. Uh, to ju just to give you kind of an idea of how quickly this can go. So I filled up most of my spots with barracks and cottages. I have three left over. I need to make a relief station. Is really the last building I need to make. And then I'll probably make two more cottages right here. Um, but yeah. Uh, I made a stable. Got it to level two. I'm upgrading the forge pretty quick. And then the academy pretty quick. Because those are the things uh, that I really need to get to my... Uh, uh, research going so for research I've done a little bit of small stuff informatics is really quick uh, so I got it to level two pretty fast uh, military science is a uh, pretty important um, so it's up it's going up to level four and then I got my first archery going right now so archery is uh, going to level one so um, it is the most important in this game uh, to have archery and horseback riding at a certain level so we got to get these up as quick as we can uh, hopefully before beginners protection but I'm not for sure it just kinda depends uh, as you can see you need military science level 5 so I'll probably do that next uh, to uh, try to get that done uh, for uh, to be able to do horseback riding so the ratio you want archery and horseback riding is going to be like 8 and 7 I believe uh, that's the ratio uh, I have to look it up again but eventually I can verify that uh, and you need to have some of this other stuff up to a, a specific level to do that uh, what you're wanting to do is uh, I'll, I upgraded my barracks level 4 so I got some troops opened uh, I want to get ballistas and transporters so of course I gotta do all the technology to be able to do ballistics and transporters as you can see it takes a little bit more research there but these two uh, combined can take out uh, level 5 and below NPCs for free eventually. So that's the idea. As you can see, the green flag is for the clan I joined. I mainly clan, uh, I joined the clan because he teleported near me and then they actually invited me yesterday. So I did that uh, on purpose for protection. Uh, you want to kind of be in a clan just so people are uh, more weary of attacking you. Because uh, you may start a war if they do attack. Um, so, and as you see, I just got a message there. Uh, I sent some troops over to this flat. Uh, there's a little flag there. I just took the flat over. It was captured by this dude here. Um, and usually, when someone captures a flag, they don't put, they don't leave troops in there because it costs a lot of food. So I just took uh, 200 warriors, uh, capped the flag, uh, or captured the flat, and uh, got some. Uh, got it. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can go to your feasting hall. I'm going to need to. Uh, I believe I'm going to need to recall these guys. I might, oh, I'm going to go ahead and recall them anyways. Uh, hopefully it will let me build and recall. I'm not for sure because my rally spot is a, a really low level. I need to upgrade that next. So we're going to need a few more w workers. So I'm going to see if I can get some workers going. Workers have pretty good uh, logistics. They can carry quite a bit of uh, uh, stuff around with them. As you see their load is 200. So let's build about 150 extra workers. And if you hit split production, it'll split it between all the barracks that are available. And as you can see, it took an hour. Now it's down to seven minutes. So it's nice to have about nine barracks. And uh, since I have an iron mine, it takes more population. So nine barracks and it'll be nine, 10, 11 uh, cottages is a pretty good ratio. If you had all lumber, you could get away with 11 barracks and only uh, nine cottages. So it just kind of depends on your ratio. Um, we have some quests to use our, our primary or our beginner guidelines, so I'm going to use that on archers. And as you can see, that went down pretty quick. And I was actually going to use one on forge, so get those two going. And uh, since we used it, it'll open up the option, and then we get another one, or we get a different type. So now I want to use primary guidelines two, or apply primary guidelines, which is the hour one. So. <laughs> if we have an update for an hour, we'll use it. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to go to this flat, and I want to build a city. Building a city takes 250 workers and a little bit of a of loot from your stuff. So we're going to go ahead and build it. And, of course, I figured it would do that. And since it's doing that, in two minutes, I can upgrade my rally spot. And uh, I don't think it takes that long. No, it does not. That's 
it's it's just lagging it only takes three minutes to do the rally spot so I can upgrade the rally spot and it can build build the city <clears throat> now only reason I want to build a city right now is because I'm in beginners protection so nobody can take me over on this game you can actually take somebody's base away from them if they have more than one city so if you go to these people up here nine cities ten cities uh, you, you can have up to ten cities so as you can see, a lot of people have 9, 10, 7, 5. It's a lot of bases. I mean, if, you, if you're playing Clash of Clans, if you had that many bases, it'd be overwhelming. But on this game, it's a little different. It's not as overwhelming once you get up there and to the, later on into the game. So I, I think I finished Archery. So it's going to give me that. Uh, because there's all kinds of constructions here that you can do. Like there's a actually a construction right here, uh, and it lowers the... Constru construction speed of buildings by 10 percent so it's really nice to get construction going all right how long is archery it takes an hour 14 so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and research it and we're actually going to speed it up by using uh, the primary guidelines and go ahead and get it going so that only take 15 minutes and we should get another one back for this and then the next one is probably the two and a half hour speed up or something item person where's this so we can actually pick an item for free. So if you go to buy item, we have 20 cents. Uh, they give you 20 cents for free. But it's telling us that we can buy an item and then uh, in doing so it will give us more. So let's see if we can find a decent item to buy. Um, none of these are really, let's see, 20 cents, 240. None of these are really worth buying. Uh, probably the best item I'd say to buy in this game is... Uh, Burning these hammers pretty good. It's uh, relatively new. It allows you to queue up a uh, a construction, so it'll do two at a time, and you don't have to be online to do it. But for five cents, I don't know if that's worth it. I believe the best thing to honestly buy is just an amulet. So let's just go ahead and buy one of these, and then we'll spin them. And since it's day two, I got an amulet early day, so it gave me ten extra cents. So you make a profit in doing so. And uh, we do have an extra, we have two of these now. So we can go and apply these, see what we can get. Uh, of course, like the best thing to really get in the game, I guess, is sense. But uh, you can get, I mean, food, it's, that's not very good. <laughs> um, see, usually the best thing on the board is the top one. And this one's speech text, which is really good. You can instantly save your village or your, your city with this. And you get eight of them, so that's a pretty good buy. But oh, I got more iron, so that's okay. If you press continue, it's going to ask you to keep going with your sense, so you have to close out. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade this rally spot so we can get that going. Um, also, when you join a clan, guys, you want to make sure this is checkmarked. I don't know if I said that earlier. And then, as you can see, here's my here's my alliance. It's like called an alliance here, but it's interchangeable. And then, like, there's war reports if people are attacking other people and etc., uh, so it's it's pretty cool. You can look through there and look at war attacks and stuff. Uh, under beginner's protection, you cannot attack cities. You can attack forests and stuff like that, but you cannot attack cities. So keep that in mind. Um, this, my feasting hall is level two now, and I found a decent attack hero. Uh, he has a base of 62, so that's okay. And then an okay politics. Actually, a really it's really a bad politics hero. He has a base of 60 or 53. So that's not that's not very good at all. See my attack hero. Uh, I thought he would get some. I guess since uh, there was no troops in that flat, he didn't have anything to take over. Um, but yeah, I filled this up, got them all to level two. You could speed that up to level two uh, for free as long as you have the loot. Uh, what I'm doing for loot is, as you can see in the bottom, uh, I'm just selling iron. Um, just whenever I think I need it. Right now, it's kind of. It's kind of, it's getting, it's fluctuating a lot. It, this, I mean, this was up to uh, 6 and 18, but it's still two times, so that's still, we're still making profit. Like, I'll sell about 10,000 iron, and uh, it went through pretty quick. And then I'll go to lumber and go to buy max, and it says I can buy 63,000. So I'll buy a portion of that, I'll buy 25,000. So that was decent. And then stone, I go to buy max, I can buy 214,000, I'll buy about 75,000. Uh, just a portion of it and then food were good but I, I try to keep uh, my my lumber and my stone up so if I need to build something 
then uh, I'll have it available whenever that time comes. All right, so uh, once uh, the rally spot uh, levels up, we'll be able to build city, and uh, and then I have troops. They're returning from the flat, and then I always make sure to levy. Uh, I haven't levied like anything else besides lumber, so we're gonna levy something different. And you want to do praying. I've already finished all the other ones. Praying uh, will increase your prestige in the top right. So I'm at eight eight six, and it just jumped it up to eight nine seven eight. So if you're trying to gain prestige, it's an easy way of getting prestige. Um, prestige in this game is iffy. It really doesn't matter what prestige you are. Uh, you can have tons and tons of prestige and be a town hall two. It's uh, it's crazy how people mess with the game. But I've seen it. I've seen it before. I've seen a guy do it, uh, and uh, it's interesting. But I don't want to. I'm like I can't put in the work for that because it's just crazy. You have to have like an extremely high hero, like up in the eight hundreds and stuff like that. And as you can see, my hero's like a sixty three right now. It's really bad. Um, and if you're a town hall two and attack a town hall ten, uh, you'll gain like two hundred thousand prestige every attack, but you lose like so many troops. So uh, he was just doing it for fun, but that's not quite something I'm going to do. <laughs> so uh, we will see. All right, so the rally spot is almost done. And then once it, it's done, we can build city. The city will uh, take a little while to build, of course. And what I'm going to do in that city is I'm going to try to max out the, the production things. I'll probably max them out with iron, uh, max out uh, the cottages and stuff like that. Try to use some of these resources and send over there. And then mainly what I want to do, I'm going to upgrade this again. Uh, mainly what I want to do is uh, get uh, an academy going over there. I always want to recall the reinforcing troops. As you see, build city will take 16 minutes. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But uh, I think, yeah, I think I would need a, a rally spot to level 2 anyways to do that. But I want to build academy over there as fast as I can. And I want to try to get some of these small researches done pretty quick. Like uh, informatics, all you need is an academy 3. And you can just upgrade it as much as you want. Um, and just some of these little things I want to try to uh, get to done. And then this city over here will be doing archery and horseback as quick as possible. So the idea is after like 7 days I'll be able to attack an NPC level 5. Uh, and get uh, all the loot for free. And uh, that'll get me going to be able to take over a level 10, which is right here. So, But alright, I'm going to let the city build, and then we'll I'll work a little bit on the city and kind of show you what I've done. <clears throat> Welcome back, guys. Uh, so I apologize for some reason what happened. Uh, it really stinks, I know. But once uh, you build the city, uh, like I did, and then it completes it's going to give you a prompt to like change the uh, name and uh, blah 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 you just click yes when you get into the city the first thing you need to do is get some population going uh, build about three cottages transfer resources over and then try to get your academy up as quick as possible so you can get your uh, um, other research is going and you're also going to need to build some fields you want you want some uh, lumber and iron and all that stuff going stuff like that uh, the thing I messed up mainly on this part I know it's just a screenshot so you can't really visualize uh, what I'm talking about but uh, I did not have nowhere near enough resources that I thought I did to really manage two cities at the time uh, so as you can see kind of the resources I had it still wasn't enough luckily uh, the alliance I joined somebody was right beside me and they uh, started sending me some resources and they were able to help me jump start my uh, route to uh, building the second city to get my research done so the only reason you build a second city is to get research done quicker uh, you want to get the academy up to level two and three ASAP so you can get the the loot bonuses uh, uh, otherwise those bonuses aren't in effect so just keep that in mind but apologize for the video messing up but I hope this voiceover explained it just enough uh, but that's all I got for this episode guys I hope you enjoyed it I'll talk to you guys later